Hi and welcome to part 5 of this Django crash course. Today we are going to make it possible to add categories to this blog. So first we are going to create a new model for the categories. I want this to be located in the blog as well. So we can go in here and I can add this at the top here. And then say class category, pass in the models dot model and we want the title so I can copy this and I want a slug so I can just copy this as well and those are the only two the fields I want I want to set ordering here as well so class meta ordering equals name so I want this below, uh, ordered by name and then ascending order so you have a first then bc and similar sorry title of course you see i got the error down here so then i can stop the server and update the database by running python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate so then i can run the server and i want to register this with the admin interface as well so we can add a few categories so import category here as well and then admin.site.register category and save. So if I now go to the admin interface, refresh, you now have a category here. See this is spelled very weird. This is because Django automatically adds an S to the end for the plural name. But you can change this if you want by going to models.py. And in the meta here, we can say verbose name plural equals categories save refresh and that looks a little bit better so then we can add one category and call this for example django and then the slug django save and add another view view and save so now we have two categories on our blog perfect Next important thing we need to do is to now have a connection between the post and the category. So the same way we add a foreign key here, I want the foreign key here to point up to the category. So then I can say category equals models dot foreign key category name posts and on delete models dot cascade. And save. So now I need to update the database again. Make migrations. Okay, so now you're trying to add a nullable field posts, this one, without the default. So this field can't be empty, so we need to set a default value. And I can provide a one of default value for now for the two posts that's already in the database. So if I click one, then I need to fill a value here. I know that I added two categories here, one with ID 1 and one with ID 2. So if I just type 1, both of the posts I added earlier will get ID 1 or the category 1 as the value, like that. And then I run the migrate. Perfect. So then I can run the server again. So if I now go back here, into posts and the first one you will see that this is already connected now to a category perfect and if you see this category object this is because we don't have a string representation of this class so we can add that by going below the class meta and said f underscore underscore str underscore underscore and pass in self and just a return self dot title and now go and refresh you'll see the title of the category here instead of just the object and the same goes with here for the posts you can just copy this paste it below there and save fresh and now we see the title of the post instead so that's much easier to understand so then the next step is to now go into a post here and then below the title here I want to show which or I can show it below the body which category we are on so if I go into detail 
and then below the body here I can say P small I want this to be small and then I just say post dot category refresh that did not work okay I did a little mistake in the models.py this was supposed to be related name posts just like down here sorry so if I now stop the server and just update this again so just do the same here one and then one and then migrate sorry about that so if I now run the server again you'll see that when I now refresh you'll see the Django here which is the category perfect you can say category like this nice so next step now is make it possible to click this so I can see the detail page of a category with all the posts belonging to that certain category. Before I continue I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. To do that we can begin with the view. So go into views.py in the blog application and then def category request and then slug. I want the slug field here as well. So I need to import the category a pair. Category like that. Then I can say category equals get object or 404 category slug equals slug. And then I say return render request pass in the template blog slash category dot html. Then add a dictionary here with the category so we can use it in the front end and save. So now I can go to urls.py and import it there. And the problem now is that we now will have two fields like this. Use.category and category detail. So to fix this I want to add another slug to this like this so I want to have the category slug in front of the regular slug here so then I actually need to fix the, get the the detail view as well so category slug like that so then I can visit both of these pages and then I can create a new file a new template category.html just go in here and copy a little bit and then I can go to the in the front page and copy a little bit of that template I can actually just make a copy of all of this and then go back to category.html first I want to replace the title here with the category dot title and then posts is available through category dot posts.all and save. So now we have a template, we have a URL and we have a view. So then I just need to make the category name clickable. So here is a href. I use the URL again. Category title and then we pass in post.category.slug. Let me close the link after the title, just like that. So if I now refresh, okay, no category matches given query. Okay, yes, because now it looks like I actually am on a post or no on a category now, because this is the the this one which have only one slug. So I need to go to the front page, and now I get a new error here: no reverse match. And that is because if I go to the uh, front page, you'll see that we only use one slug field here for the post detail, which now requires two. So here we need to add post.category.slug. And the same goes with the detail page for the category page. We need a category slug there as well. Refresh, and if I now hold the pointer over here, you can see down in the left corner 
that it's pointing to slash Django slash second post. So if I click this, I get a new error here. No reverse for category title. Of course, category detail. This should be. So then I can refresh. And now we can see that this is clickable. And if I click it, you can see these two posts because they are belonging to the Django category. And up here you can see that we are on the Django category page. Perfect. And that was it for this part of the video. In the next part we're going to be able to customize the admin interface a little bit. So we're going to show comments inside the posts and similar. We're also going to do uh, different cool things like adding search functionality, adding inlines and filters and other cool things like auto-generating the slug field for the posts and the category. So, see you in the next video.